Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Tunix King Lu. I'm Elijah Momotini Rachel. Thank you for stopping by. Of course, this Tunix King Lu channel is where you learn about skincare, simple DIYs here with the product review and everything skincare to help you achieve your skin go so in today's video i'll be showing you how to dissolve your powders and when i talk about powders here i'm talking about your acids and your whitening powders so here we have salicylic acid we have azelaic acid we have those of course our acids and here we have whitening powders here we have codic acid liquor rice snow white powder and of course we have a thickener here which is our santa gum so this is what your uh, salicylic acid looks like this is what your salicylic acid should look like okay and yeah we have our azelaic acid this is the azelaic acid okay and of course we have kojic acid we have kojic deep and we have kojic acid so but for the purpose of this video i'm making use of my kojic acid this is what kojic acid look like and of course, we have licorice. This is our licorice. It's a whitening active. We have snow white powder. This is our snow white powder. And we have a thickener here. It's our Xanta gum. So this is what your Xanta gum should look like, all right? So I'm going to do a light practical for you on how to dissolve these powders. I got a lot of questions in the video I did on an acne cleanser where I used um, as a like acid there, I think. So, so many questions were in the comment section on how to dissolve. How did you dissolve your salicylic acid? How did you dissolve your like acid? I'm going to show you how to dissolve it. Okay. So first of all, let's talk about salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is a BHA. If you did the skincare training with me, of course, you already have knowledge on what salicylic acid is, the solubility, pH, and properties. Okay, so salicylic acid, this is it. It's a BHA, that's, it's a beta hydroxyl acid, okay, and it's well known for reducing acne by exfoliating the skin, keeping your skin pores clear, okay. It also helps to prevent acne acne it helps to prevent future breakouts so you can use it to treat acne and also use it for maintenance if you have acne pro skin you treat it as a like a salicylic acid product and you can continue using it for prevention purposes okay it also helps to um, fight inflammation it clears black head white head okay it removes and uh, dead skin cell it's a beta hydroxyl acid so it's somehow an exfoliant also it helps to remove dead skin cells by exfoliating. And of course, it reduces sebum secretion. It also suits sunburn, etc. Okay. Now, um, what's the usage rate? Usage rate of salicylic acid should be used between them 0.5 to 2%. In rare cases, it's used at up to 3%. So what is the solubility? It's soluble in oil. Solubility means how do you, what do you dissolve it with? In what can it be dissolved? Is it in oil? Is it in water? Is it in glycol, alcohol? So solubility of this salicylic acid is oil. You can dissolve it in oil. You can dissolve it in alcohol, glycol. Okay, that's propylene glycol. And this actually is polysoluble in water. So in this video, just watch till the end. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Towards the end of this video, I'll be showing you how to dissolve it. For now, let me just tell you the properties, usual rates, and solubility. Okay? Salicylic acid uh, works most effectively at as a leave-on product, as a leave-on treatment, and it's ideally within a pH range of three to four. This is really good. If you are treating acne, be sure you have this in your acne treatment product, okay? And then this is our azelaic acid. This is what it looks like. Azelaic acid is a... Um, 
tyrosinase inhibitor. It helps to inhibit tyrosine, okay? And tyrosine is what is responsible for the production of melanin in the skin. So if you are inhibiting melanin, it means you are somehow, to an extent, uh, enhancing skin lightening. So uh, azelaic acid is something that really helps for the treatment of acne and acne scar. It also lightens the skin. That's why you see in the, you see most people who use an acne treatment product, they tend to experience skin lightening over a period of time. And that's why we always say in your, when you're using your acne treatment product, if you're using it for the purpose of acne treatment, do not use it for a long period of time. Discontinue product as soon as you achieve your result. As soon as you get rid of your acne and your acne scar, you have to stop using it. If your goal is to get rid of acne, if your goal is to treat acne, then as soon as you are you've achieved the treatment results, stop using it. Otherwise, you are really going to get lighter. You're going to become fair. You will notice skin lightening effect. All right? So um, as a like, acid helps to even out skin tone, prevent and treat hyperpigmentation due to conditions like melasma. It treats acne and clears acne scar, okay? As a like, acid helps to stop the production of melanin in the skin as well. So what's the usage rate? As I like acid should be used between 0.5 to 10%. It can be used at 0.5 to 10%. Okay. So what pH should be your as I like acid product? pH range should be between pH 4 to pH 5. So if you don't know how to balance, check and balance the pH of your product, I already have that video on this channel. So I'm going to put a link in the description box for you to watch it and then know how to check and balance the pH of your products. Okay? pH should be pH 4 to 5. pH 4 to 5 is most closer to neutral. Okay? So of course, it will allow you to ease your way into the effect of the acids. Okay? and can have, uh, it helps to ease the effects that acid can have on your skin within a, uh, with a minimized risk of irritating side effects. So pH 4 to 5 is appropriate for your azelaic acid-based products. So now let's talk about kojic acid. This is a very popular skin whitener in cosmetics. Kojic acid works by blocking the tyrosine. Of course, I told you tyrosine is an enzyme responsible for the production of melanin in the skin. So if you want to become lighter, you want to achieve skin lightening, the first thing you should do is inhibit the production of melanin. Block the production, stop the production of uh, melanin on your skin. Once that is done, you're on your way to achieving the good skin lightening effect. So kojic acid is very popular in skincare, and of course, it helps to block the production of melanin, prevent melanin production. It is most commonly used in cosmetics products such as your cream, your lotion, your serum, both body and facial products. You can use kojic acid. We have kojic acid and kojic dip. Please know the difference. This here is kojic um, acid. And kojic acid is water soluble. We have kojic dip, which of course is oil soluble. That one should be dissolved in oil. But this one, of course, I will be dissolving it in water. So please watch this video to the end to see how I'm going to do it. For kojic acid, the usage rate should be between one to three. But if you're using kojic dip, it can be used at three to five percent. Mm -hmm. Kojic acid, this kojic acid here has a tendency to oxidize over time. So if you are using it, you should know exactly what product you should use it and how um, best way to use it as well to prevent oxidization. And now this is our liquor rice, another very popular um, ingredient in skincare, cosmetics. So this is what your... Um, liquor rice looks like we have white liquor rice and we have the brown liquor rice the brown one is called liquor rice root because of course that's extracted from the liquor rice root this here is 
liquorice powder. Okay, just one minute. Let me get the liquorice root so I can show you the difference. Okay. Okay, guys. So this is here is our liquorice roots. Okay. This is liquorice root and this is liquorice powder. So know the difference. This is liquorice root. Okay. And here is your liquorice powder. We also have liquorice oil. Okay. Now this, you can use this directly in your black soap making. You can use this in, uh, of course, you can use it in mulatto soap as well. You can use this in uh, infusion. If you want to make a good oil or glycerin, you can infuse this in your oil or glycerin. Okay, and you can infuse it, of course, and use it in your serum and different. It has so many benefits, but if you are putting it directly in, in cream, in lotion, this is the one you should go for. Okay, you should go for this. Liquor rice um, powder, liquor rice, of course, this one here, it helps to also inhibit the production of melanin. It's a um, tyrosinase inhibitor, okay? And of course, this is safe to use in skincare. Liquor rice is very safe to use in skincare. You can use it in your soap, your cream, your serum, your oils, your scrub. It has so many um skin benefit and this of course is a whitening active it is easy to mix with other ingredients you can combine them with other ingredients okay and you're not going to have any issue it's water soluble this is water soluble that means you can and um, dissolve it in water okay it can be used in your skincare product Okay, this is a natural skin lightener. It's very safe for the skin. So you can use it to your skincare product. And of course, you're not going to have any challenge. Just make sure you work with the right usage rate. And of course, the right pH. And now let's talk about our snow white powder. This is what your snow white powder looks like. This also is a natural skin lightener. Okay, so it's a lightening powder. And of course, it can be added to your body cream, your facial cream, your lotion, your scrub, serum, soap as well. This is water soluble and it has a pH of 3 to 6.5. Usage rate should be between 2 to 5 percent. Okay, you can dissolve this in water. It's water soluble. And yes, we have our Xantagum. This is a thickener. Okay. Xantagum is used in skincare as a thickening agent. Okay. It helps for thickening. It helps to, for texture enhancement. And also helps to stabilize emotions. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to dissolve this as well. So, Xantagum is one of the only naturally derived thickener commonly used in skincare products. This has a usage rate of 0.1 to 0.5%. Okay, solubility, this is soluble in water and it's also soluble in ethanol. So, um, so this here, now I'm going to show you straight I'm going to show you how to dissolve this. So this is some salicylic acid. I already labeled the cup. So when I take it for my double boiling, I'm not going to mix them up. This is salicylic acid. I'm going to dissolve the salicylic acid here. That's why I wrote SA. So I'm just going to pour it here. I'm going to pour the salicylic acid here. So this is the salicylic acid, and of course, the next is our azelaic acid. I'm going to pour the azelaic acid here. That's why I labeled this one A. So when I take it for double boil and I'm going to dissolve, I'm going to know what exactly I have there. So this is my azelaic acid, and then Kojic. I label this one K, so I'm just going to know it's for kojic acid. So I'm going to put the kojic acid here. Please, if you have not subscribed yet, kindly click the subscribe button and turn on notifications by clicking on the notification bell as well. So you get notified every time I upload a new video. This one here, I'm going to put the snow white here. That's why I have SN. 
and SA is the salicylic acid, SN is the snow white, so I don't mix things up. This is the snow white. Remember, we have um, skincare training. If you want to learn how to formulate very effective skincare products from scratch that will work for you, give you nice yellow undertone. Register for my natural skincare formulation class. And then uh, this here is the Snow White powder. We also have Promixing ebook if you want to um, learn how to promix very effective uh, skincare product without side effect. Get my Promixing ebook. Nat um, whitening base cream ebook is available as well. We have five recipes there. How to make very effective whitening base cream from scratch. So instead of buying your base cream, you can just learn how to make yours. Get the ebook if you want body enhancement products, butt oil, hips, and um, butt boobs enhancement products, cream, oil. Um, yes, the ebook is available as well. So please send me a message on WhatsApp or send a mail to me. So for our licorice powder, it's very easy. This is not difficult to dissolve at all. All you just have to do, make sure you dissolve distilled water. Remember, I said this is water soluble. So all you have to do is just add your water to it. And that's it. You don't need this one does not stress to dissolve. Very easy. Okay. You can see. So your liquor rice, you can dissolve it even without using the double boiler method. With just ordinary cold water or warm water, your powder will be well dissolved. I hope you can see it. You can see how clear it is. This one does not stress at all. It dissolves so easily, as you can see. So this is it for your um, liquorice powder. And Xanta gum. To dissolve your Xanta gum, you can use uh, water. You can use um, glycerin. But I prefer to work with glycerin. This one, you don't really need the double boiler method. So I'm just going to do it live here for you to see. For the ones for the ones in the cup, we'll be using a double boiler method for those ones, okay? So let me just do this one here before we go. So this is my glycerin. You can see it here. Vegetable glycerin. So this is my glycerin. That's what I'm dissolving my Santa gum with. Okay, just gonna add a little more. This is okay. So you just dissolve and then add to your product. If you are dissolving Santa gum with tank glycerin, it's not gonna stress you at all. But if you're using water, it may stress you to an extent. Please follow Timic Skin Glow on Instagram. We are on Instagram. We are on Facebook. Follow Timic Skin Glow. And you can shop your skincare products from us as well. We deliver worldwide. Distance is never a barrier. Okay? For your ebook, it's a PDF. So as you make payment for it, you get it immediately. No stress. Our recipes are customized solely to Timic Skin Glow recipes. And they are very effective. So you can see our Xantagon. This one, you don't need the Bobuela method. Just dissolve it with glycerin and they add to your product and stay. It's going to enhance the texture and it's going to thicken the product for you. So now let's, let's go for the, this is your Xantagon. So now I'm going to take this one. Here it's my snow white powder. I'm going to dissolve this nine double polar method. Forget, yeah, I have to tell you what I'll be dissolving them with. So for my um, for my snow white powder, this ends in snow white, I will be using um, distilled water. So it's, remember I told you we need water for this. This is the water. And then for my kojic acid, I'll be using distilled water as well. This is the kojic acid, remember that. Yes, for the Kojic. So this is my Kojic acid. I'm just going to double boil. Use the double boiler method. And this is this um, salicylic acid. I need propylene glycol for it. 
This is my propelling glycol. Remember for the Xanta gum, I use vegetable glycerin. This is vegetable glycerin and this is propelling glycol. So I'm just going to add lead to um, propelling glycol to my salicylic acid. This is salicylic acid. So I'm going to add just some. So this is it. And then for my azelaic acid, I'll be using propelling glycol as well. So this is my A, azelaic acid. I will use propelling glycol for this one too. So let's dissolve now. So this is our kojic acid. You have to do it on low heat. Sorry about the gens generator sound you're hearing, but I just want you to see how it's done, I, especially for beginners. This video here is to help the beginners on this channel. So this is it. So this is the codic acid. Remember, you have to do it on low heat. Ooh. You have to dissolve it till it's completely clear. You can see how clear the kojic acid is. So um, to prevent your kojic acid from recrystallizing, you have to use enough water. If the water is not enough, you see as soon as you bring it out, it will start uh, uh, recrystallizing, okay? So this is our kojic acid. Let, the next one we're gonna do now is our azelaic acid. So now we're dissolving our azelaic acid. This is the A here, so it's our azelaic acid. I remember we're dissolving it in a propelling glycol. So you just have to make sure the propelling glycol is enough, otherwise it will it's be difficult for you to um, dissolve it well. So you're just going to keep stirring like this till it's uh, completely clear. So sorry about this. The, 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 I'm so sorry about the um, noise from the, from the generator. So this is what your um, as the like acid should look like at the end of the day. This is it, okay? So now we're gonna do this. Is our Snow White powder SM. Can you remember that? You dissolve it on low heat or you can you just use warm water you can see it has to be this clear okay your snow white powder must become clear like this so when you add it to your lotion or your serum so this is our sa salicylic acid if you can see some crystals there so we're going to stir very well so it's completely clear So you just have to keep stirring till it's completely clear. Okay, you can see now it's, it's becoming clear gradually, but it's not completely clear yet. Okay, you can see Ooh, the vapor. So it's actually clear now. Everything is now well dissolved. You can use this in your formulation. You can see this is uh, the salicylic acid. See what it looks like. It's so clear. Okay. So, so clear. You can see it. So you can just pour this in whatever your, your acne cream or base cream or whatever products you want to add salicylic acid to. You can see. No no um, particle in it it's so so clear so if you have been doing it wrong now i believe you know how best to dissolve your salicylic acid you need propelling glycol and it must come out clear like this that's the purpose of timis kinglo channel to educate you and teach you how to do things the right way this is our azelaic acid you can see how clear it is as well no particle in it you can see this is the azelaic acid. 
you just have to dissolve it well by using propylene glycol and of course kojic acid this is what it looks like this is it it's so so clear now you can see so now you know how best to dissolve your powders your whitening powders your acid and of course this is the liquid rice we dissolve with water you can dissolve it even without the double boiler method you can see how clear it is okay this is it this is it this is it this is our dissolved liquid rice snow white powder you can also dissolve it without double boiler method actually this is it you can see how clear it is just pour it in your cream, your soap, whatever. This is our Xanta gum we dissolved. You can see how gel it is. Ooh. You can use this in your shower gel. You can use this in your lotion. You can use this in your serum. It's going to give you a very nice texture. So this brings us to the end of the video. I hope you learned something new today. If you really enjoyed this video, please encourage me to do more by leaving a nice comment for me in the comment section. Tell me what you feel about this video. Give it a thumbs up and share this video. Save it somewhere, share it. So whenever you want to dissolve your powders, you can just go there to click on it and then you watch the video. In my next video, I'll be sharing with you a very nice recipe. I'm not going to tell you what the product is, what is the product we're going to make to get there. A very nice whitening product, of course. So if you don't want to miss that one, turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload that video. My ebooks are available, whitening base cream ebook, promixing ebook, natural skincare formulation ebook. Of course, we have a class for that as well. So if you have any issue in your skincare formulation, you need help. Of course, when I say you need help, it's not free. A lot of you come to WhatsApp, send me messages. Oh, you say you're going to help. You're going to help. Of course, nothing is free. You have to pay a token. I didn't get the knowledge for free. I paid heavily to get this knowledge. I paid heavily to get this uh, formulas. So if you want me to help you, you want to get my formulas, you have to pay a token. And of course, they are 100% effective. And the good thing about training with Timmy Skin is that even after the training, you... We, you get a lifetime mentorship. You can always send messages. You can always ask questions. If you need help, you can just drop a message on WhatsApp or send a mail. Okay? So that is it. If you have any questions, please drop in the comment section. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.